Good evening, everybody. It's uh, Sunday, we'll call it late afternoon, it's 3.30ish, and uh, it's a special shave today. I'll get into that in a minute, um, and I'll break down the exact why I'm using everything as I kind of go. Soap Commander Renewal. My aftershave, even though I have Renewal, I'm going to go with the Love Balm. My brush, once again because of the sunburn, and I just love it, my Nathan Clark Horsehair Brush. Then I'm going to break out my uh, Schick Injector, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this color and style handle is from the 40s. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know, please. But and it's loaded with a uh, Persona blade. First time using one of these, so excited to see how that works. Go ahead and I'll start loading off the puck, and I'll explain my shave. Sorry, I'm a little tired. It's been a long, long day. Drill weekends are always kind of hard. Um, outside again a lot of the day but that's not the topic today today's topic is going to be my baptism that's why I picked these scents uh, figure I was going to do soap commander you know kind of either way today I kind of changed it up yesterday but uh, renewal you know it seems only fitting to use a soap called renewal on the day of your baptism uh, you know, you're basically renewing yourself uh, and Love to me kind of made perfect sense as well. You know, it's it's through the death of death, uh, yeah, the death of Christ and His love and His Father's love for us, me, as to why I'm able to do a baptism, why I'm, why I'm able to even without a baptism ask for forgiveness of my sins and salvation. Uh, Baptism is a outward expression, you know, it's not a minor event at all, but it's not salvation, but I'm, it's long overdue, sorry, I'm just kind of a little emotional, um, excited, you know, I was baptized as a baby, but, okay, call that good, but uh, never as an adult. You know, some people don't believe in that, or don't not that they don't believe, but they don't feel it's necessary to be baptized again. But uh, something I believe in, believe in wholeheartedly, that uh, when your parents make it as you know, I, my kids were dedicated. Basically, what that means is that in front of the church. My boys were presented to the church as part of my family, part of our church family, and we as parents said, you know, we take on the responsibility of these children to be baptized, or to uh, be raised in a Christian home that will teach them, you know, guide them and help them. But then uh, they also turn to the church and say, you know, you have a responsibility as well for these children to help them, you know, kind of act in kind of the, what I was used to as a Lutheran church and I know other, and Catholics as well, other churches do it as godparents. Um, but basically we put it on the church itself and say, you know, you guys all have a role as well. So at a later date and time, my kids will be baptized. My oldest was gonna do it tonight um, but because of some other reasons, it's not going to happen tonight. Probably be in about a month. Because he's he is ready. Beautiful lather. So tonight it'll be me, and I don't know how many other people are going to show up. But I'm excited. Been a while since I used this razor. I just learned something recently about these too. Um, Nick Shaves did a video and some people were talking about technique of loading a blade and honestly I always thought it was straightforward. But I guess uh, 
if you're loading the blade in the first time, his didn't have the key, here's my Schick one, didn't have this key here to slide into the side. Uh, so he was, I guess it's the barber style to use with uh, barber razors. So he was pushing it in without a blade and it potentially damaged the blade, dulled it, that kind of thing. Um, but then people were saying as well that if you load, the first time you load a blade in without another blade in there, there's a good chance too you're going to dull the blade, ruin it, that kind of deal. So I, I've never known that. Um, so maybe that's why my shaves were, they were all right with them, but I never felt something like, oh, injectors are the best. So we'll see how it feels today. So far it's feeling really nice. So I figured these products were perfect, you know, one just because of the what they symbolize, the names. Also, they're both floral based, earth based kind of stuff. Then I also figured on the day of my baptism I should also it's only fitting using products made by good Christian people as well, so. To me, that was uh, an important step as well. Pass two, lathered up. For those who uh, are still watching, past the usual uh, cutoff time for most people, I had posted a question and shaved, shaved the man the other day, or last night, and um, got some good traction. I was excited to read it. Talking about single edge razors and just kind of why I don't see, you don't see them enough. Um, people don't talk about them enough. Everybody talks about straights. Everybody talks about DEs. But very rarely do I hear a whole lot of talk about SEs. So I kind of wanted to spark the talk a little bit. Because obviously that's what I use a lot now. And so for those who uh, are participating in that or have been involved in that conversation, thank you. For those that haven't been, uh, check it out. Give your, give your input. So the more the better. I'll tell you what, I got a feeling I was using duller blades because uh, this is feeling, uh, or dulled blades. This is feeling much different. I got good, you know, I, I got decent shaves in the past, but not like I am now. Kind of expecting a decent crowd tonight. Um, it's the uh, first baptism of the new year, and especially in the good outdoor weather. It's cloudy today, but good temperature and such.
Plus Easter just came, you know, happened last week. At the church we had a lot of people uh, come forward at our service and uh, ask Christ in their lives. So hopefully uh, a lot of those people show up today. Just uh, for those that watch my brush video when I uh, talked about shave or combing that brush, it's now been two shaves straight with this uh, brush that I have not uh, combed it out, and there's no knots, anything like that. The only knot is that it, there's a knot in the handle. really nice I won't do any touch-ups either since it's still late day shave I'm just going to go straight to cold water. Shade felt really good, really smooth. Uh, a little piece of the towel. Little, uh, color piece thought I cut myself down there. Neck is about normal for what I always get. For all the face feels pretty good. Fantastic shave. Yeah, the injectors are really easy. Obviously, the blade felt really good today. Put a lot on there because uh, I'm going to get my neck as well on the back. To deal with the sunburn. It was actually pointed out to me last night. If you look at the first ingredient on these bombs, I should go a little bit up here too. The first ingredient is aloe. And I'll actually probably mention this uh, tomorrow since it's so late in the video. Oh, it feels good. But for those who are still watching now, I'll give you, I guess, a sneak peek, since I should have mentioned it at the beginning. But, yeah, the ingredients, the first ingredient, aloe vera. Then you get to distilled water, avocado oil, almond oil, sweet almond oil, um, emulsifying wax, so on and so on. So the first ingredient is aloe vera. What was I going to use? Big old green tub of aloe vera. This has aloe, first ingredient, and it also has menthol so i got both effects so i've been using it a couple times a couple out every couple hours even at work um and really the sunburn hasn't hurt at all so 
so far so good. I'll uh, keep you guys tuned uh, tomorrow on that. But yeah, I gotta get going. Been about 15 minutes. Hope you guys stuck around. If you did, thank you very much. God bless, and I will see you guys tomorrow.